Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ryan here from Game Essays and it's been a little while. In fact, it's been over a year since I've done a tier list and I wanted to do a different kind of tier list, definitely something I haven't done before. And that is going to be predicting the next Zelda release. And I'm talking only the very next Zelda release. I'm gonna go through all of the series and see what's a possible remake or port, remaster, or would we get a new Zelda altogether? I'm recording this in June 2024, and there are even possibilities that if we get a direct in June, we may even hear about some announcement. But anyway, I wanna see what is likely and most likely not the next Zelda release. So let's start all the way back at the beginning. We're gonna go with Zelda 1 and Zelda 2, the two games that are on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Obviously, these games are available right now on Nintendo Switch Online and have been for many years now. So if they were to get any kind of treatment, it's gonna be a remake. I just don't feel like it's particularly likely just because they're available now, you can play them if you want to. They even have easier versions, those SP versions to make it a little bit more friendly to new players. And I just don't feel like now is the right time to try and do a remake for these games. And I feel like if they were ever going to remake them, they would have done it a long time ago. In fact, they almost remade the original Legend of Zelda that ended up being Oracle of Seasons. So they had their chance then, and I just don't see it happening. So I'm going to put both Zelda 1 and Zelda 2 under very unlikely for a remake treatment. Now moving on to A Link to the Past, I kind of feel a very similar way. And that is, A Link Between Worlds was potentially going to be a Link to the Past remake, and then they ended up doing what I think was the better idea, which was to have something that alluded a lot to A Link to the Past, reuse the same map and a lot of similarities, but have it be a new experience with a new story, new dungeons, all of that. So again, that was kind of their chance that if they were gonna do it, they were gonna do it then, and I just don't see them going back to it. And again, this is another game that is available to play on Switch Online. So it's not like people are clamoring for a method to play this game in 2024. It's extremely accessible. So again, I'm gonna put this as very unlikely for a remake. Now, Link's Awakening is uh, gonna be something, you know, would we get anything regarding Link's Awakening? We obviously just got a full remake in 2019, so, I don't see them finding any reason to go back and give that another treatment. And also, they even had Link's Awakening on that little collector's um, Game & Watch thing that had Zelda 1 on it and Link's Awakening. So there's really no reason for them to uh, do anything with Link's Awakening. Again, they just remade it, so that goes under it already had something recently. Now we get to a little more interesting games that might have potential here. So Ocarina of Time, is it possible we get a remake or another possible thing since Ocarina of Time has already gotten a remake before is a 3DS remaster up to Switch or even Switch 2 when that allegedly comes out next year. Uh, there is precedent for them taking a 3DS game and upscaling it and putting it on to Switch. We've seen this with Luigi's Mansion. So it's possible that they could do this for Ocarina of Time and even Majora's Mask. Uh, for Ocarina of Time, I'm. it's possible. I would say it's either going to be somewhat likely or unlikely but possible. So I, I'm going to put it on the somewhat likely category. There's a decent chance they could do this. Like I said, there is precedent there for them doing this with 3DS games. So I'll put that as somewhat likely. I'm going to put Majora's Mask as unlikely but possible. We all know Ocarina of Time generally gets the more favored treatment over Majora's Mask. And it's kind of a miracle in and of itself that we got that 3DS remake for Majora's Mask. And I'm not sure if it wasn't for fans petitioning that it may have ever happened. I think that was a huge part. So I think the most likely scenario that we get 
the 3DS remaster onto Switch or Switch 2 for Majora's Mask is if they do kind of a simultaneous release with both Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Since all the hard work has mostly been done and they would just need to upscale it, um, you know, obviously there are some assets that they may have to rebuild from the ground up, but most of the work I feel like has been there. In fact, there's a lot of emulators that already upscale these games and make them look really, really good. I think Ocarina is more possible, but Majora's is also possible, but a little bit less so. And maybe we get the simultaneous release, but it wouldn't surprise me if they would just do a 3DS remaster. And again, this is all completely speculation. This is not based on news or rumors for any of these games. Oracle of Ages and Seasons Remake. It would be tough for me to put this anywhere but the top two categories. I would either put this at I'm going to put I'm going to leave it at the top of somewhat likely. Obviously, we saw that Link's Awakening got a complete remake for the Nintendo Switch and made that game an even more enjoyable experience because one of the things that held the original Link's Awakening back was really just the lack of buttons that the original Game Boy had. So even just having the Switch controller and being able to free up some of the item switching and pausing that you would have to do a lot in these games to have some things kind of just uh, basically hard bound to some of these buttons made it a lot better and obviously the beautiful art style that they did. So maybe they stick to a similar art style and do that for the Oracle games, although I'd love for them to try something new but the Oracle games are some of the least played of the entire Zelda series. So it would be awesome for them to remake these games for a new generation because they're awesome games that don't get a lot of love. So if they were to get a remaster, I think a lot of people would get to experience them that have maybe been hesitant or they feel like they're too outdated. But really when it comes down to it, it's just like the lack of buttons that uh, that's like the only downside to these games. Graphically, they look fine, but obviously a, a new fresh coat of paint would be awesome. But the Oracle games don't typically get a lot of love from Nintendo. They have put these games on Nintendo Switch Online somewhat recently. So maybe because of that, that, de that decreases our chance of seeing them do a remake because they just re-released them on Switch Online. So that's another good reason why I'm putting this at somewhat likely over very likely. Okay, Four Swords, remaster or a port. So there is, Four Swords did get sort of a I guess I'll call it a remaster, the anniversary edition. They released it in a way that it was very limited. So not a lot of people got to play this. There's a chance that they eventually have this on Switch as a port. I, I don't think they would do a remaster, but a port is possible. But I'm going to I'm going to say basically what I just said. Unlikely but possible for Four Swords. I would love for them to release that anniversary edition on Switch. It'd be a lot easier for me to play that with friends. And I'd like to experience that anniversary edition. So maybe that comes to Switch or Switch 2 online, but you never know. Okay, Wind Waker, HD port or remaster? So clearly we got Wind Waker HD on the Wii U and people have been waiting and waiting. They've been waiting seven years to get Wind Waker HD on the Switch because who wants to go back and buy a Wii U? I did that, but I don't expect many people to do that, especially now that we're getting close to the Switch 2's release. It, this is this is the funniest very likely I'm gonna put, uh, but it seems like it's gonna happen at some point. It has to happen eventually, right? Whether that's Switch or Switch 2, at this point, they might as well wait for Switch 2 and based on the capabilities of, of Switch 2, maybe it can be like a 4K release for Wind Waker HD and I'm going to put Twilight Princess HD up here as well. These feel like if they're not going to be the next Zelda release that they might be the release after that. 
it just seems like it's inevitable, right? But again, I think at this point, why would they even bother to release it to Switch when they can just wait until Switch 2 and have an automatic system seller? Not, you know, not the flagship release for Switch 2, but definitely a supporting release if they can say, oh, play Wind Waker and or Twilight Princess HD in 4K or something. So they even touch up the the Wii U remasters. I think that would be a, that extra motivation for people. Like if Switch 2 releases with a Mario game and these Zelda remakes uh, put on the Switch 2, then boom, that's going to get a lot of people excited. So this is like a risky, very likely, only because people have been predicting these coming to Switch for basically seven years and it has yet to happen. But I think, again, it has to happen at some point, right? Okay, Four Swords Adventure Remaster. I would love, again, similar to Four Swords, for them to touch up this game for HD and put it on a Switch or a Switch 2 where it's a lot easier for people to play together. You don't need link cables anymore. You could just have it even, whether it's online or even just local, I feel like it's a hundred times easier to get that experience with this game. I'm gonna put this at unlikely, but possible. It's just a game you don't see them really touch in. I don't think it's, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think it's gotten any kind of re-release other than the GameCube like greatest hits version. I haven't seen them do anything else with this game. So yeah, I, I don't know how much they're gonna touch this game, at, if at all, but I think it is more likely than the ones below it, obviously. Minish Cap Remake. This I'm gonna put under very unlikely. We just got this on Switch Online. It doesn't really need the treatment that the Oracle games need. The Game Boy Advance just had more buttons to work with, so the game just doesn't feel as outdated as the Oracle games might feel with the lack of buttons and the you know, lack of full color. I mean, I know there are Game Boy Color games for the Oracles, but you know, Minish Cap has aged more, a little bit better graphically so I just don't think it needs a remake as much. Let's put the two DS games together. So uh, these games, would they get a remake or remaster? If anything, I guess it would be just a graphical remaster. They did get released on Wii U, but it just seems very unlikely to me, unless the Switch 2 has like a dual screen mechanic to it, I don't see them touching these games. Maybe I would air, I would, I don't even think I would put them under unlikely, but possible. I just doubt they're gonna do anything, but a lot of that changes if the Switch 2 has two screens. I know they could just kind of mimic the two screens on one Switch screen or something, and there is touchscreen on the Switch, but yeah, I just don't really see it happening. Skyward Sword, this is another one that's just gonna go under. It already had something recently uh, that we just got the HD remake. Well, not remaster, I should say remaster. We got the HD remaster in, I believe, 2021. So there's no reason for them to do anything so it already it already got the treatment it needed. A Link Between Worlds Remaster. This is one that I would really love to see happen. And I'm going to put this under somewhat likely. And I almost like it more than the Oracle games, actually. So I'm going to say Link Between Worlds Remaster. Again, this is another game that Everyone who I've ever talked to who's played this game has loved this game, but then you look at the sales numbers for it and you'll be shocked kind of how low the sales are. It's it's definitely in the bottom half of Zelda games for sales. So I'd love to see this again kind of be on a main console like a Switch or a Switch 2. Much like the Luigi's Mansion thing I mentioned earlier, there is precedent for them taking a 3DS game and porting it to a console, remastering it, upscaling, what have you. I'd love to see them do this with the Link Between Worlds. It would be great. Triforce Heroes. Again, similar treatment to what you would do with a Link Between Worlds. 
definitely less likely, but would be another situation where it would be awesome for it to be more accessible for people to play because tons of people have a Nintendo Switch. I will put this under unlikely but possible. I think it's probably more likely than the Four Swords games that it happens just because it's a more recent game. But still, I would put it on the unlikely side just because it's not a very popular Zelda game. There's nobody really demanding for this to happen. But I would like to see it happen, especially because we just lost the ability to play online with Triforce Heroes. So this would be a way to kind of keep that game alive. But I know there was a, you know, kind of a small community that still loved to play this game. So it'd be nice for them. It'd be nice to get the game more exposure. I just don't really see it happening. Okay, Breath of the Wild. Do we get anything regarding Breath of the Wild? The most realistic scenario for Breath of the Wild is like a 4K remaster for Switch 2, if anything. Is that probably gonna happen? Depending on the capabilities of the Switch 2, it might. And it's probably likely to happen at some point, but is it the very next Zelda release? I would say that it's unlikely but possible because I did read a rumor. Now, I don't know how much credibility there is to this rumor. And I guess I would put it up here. But there was a rumor that they were testing the Switch 2 with kind of a up upgraded version of Breath of the Wild. So it's possible they go with that, but I really feel like they might do something a little different before they would promote something like this. Tears of the Kingdom, obviously the newest Zelda game. What new could we expect? I think the only thing we could expect from Tears of the Kingdom would be DLC. And they've already made that pretty clear that it's not something they're particularly interested in doing. Now, Nintendo has been one to say that they're not gonna do something and then all of a sudden it happens. They said that about the Skyward Sword HD, but it really felt like they meant it when they said they were kind of done with the world of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom and they didn't really have any good ideas to do DLC. I'm gonna take them at their word and just say Breath of the Wild DLC is very unlikely. A new 3D Zelda game. So this is saying that the next Zelda release, whenever it may be, not, you know, we're talking about all releases, remasters, remakes, ports, um, except for maybe just releasing something on Switch Online. We just get the next big 3D Zelda in like two to three years, but we get nothing in between. And to me, I think that is very unlikely. Obviously, we know the next 3D Zelda game is coming. And in fact, it's really the only confirmed thing we have is that we know they're making another 3D Zelda game. But is it the next release? No, but we obviously know it's coming. And then finally, my personal favorite for what I want to be the next Zelda release, and that is a new 2D and by 2D, I mean top-down style Zelda game, akin to your A Link Between Worlds or A Link to the Past. And I'm actually gonna go out on a limb and say it's very likely. I'm gonna put it less likely than the two ports because those already exist and wouldn't technically take as much effort. But I think a new 2D game, it's been over a decade and it just feels like the right time to do it. So that's my pick. So let me know what you guys want to see and what you think is going to happen for the next Zelda release. And I'll see you guys next time.